That's so no I good. just want to warn you. I've seen the movie. He has I've not. not. Ah. He's trying to get secrets I've, out of me. me. No, you don't, on, don't let it be spoiled. You want to see it fresh. Okay. You don't want her to spoil it for you. <laughs> Ruins the fun. <laughs> So, yeah. Nate, you were a big fan of Black Panther even as a kid, yeah. and it really spoke and connect, connected to you. So what are you hoping that audiences are going to be able to connect with now seeing him on the screen? I think the fans that already love the character hopefully will love him and, and learn about him in a new way. I think people who have never seen him before will learn about a new hero and a new world. The world of Wakanda is so interesting. To be able to spend time in there, I think, was really important because I think it might change how people see the continent of Africa, which would be great. And for you, seeing this world come to life, can you tell the fans sort of what it really felt like to step onto those sets and see this actual thing in, in life? Yeah, I mean, it's one thing to talk about things or read scripts about the worlds, but to actually step on the sets that Hanley Beekler, our production designer, made was amazing. I think all of us had our breath taken away the first time we walked into the tribal council uh, a room, for instance, because it, it just sort of makes it real. It makes it real in a way that it, it's never real until you get there, you know? And what made Ryan the right director for this? You know, he came on after Chadwick had been cast, yeah. so talk about that yeah. process a little bit. I mean, his, his two films, both Fruitvale Station and Creed, are such great character pieces, and we knew that for people to love the Black Panther franchise, they needed to love T'Challa. And I think Ryan figured out a way to make him really relatable. For somebody who's the king of a, an African nation and also one of the smartest people in the world, that's a hard thing to do, but Ryan is such a great dramatist. Um, and Ryan is really smart about his other characters. So the Dora Milaje, Nakia, Okoye, these are all characters that we think are going to be huge, huge characters for fans, and it's because of the work that Ryan did. What was it like pulling together such, you know, almost your own, uh, you know, African tribal uh, pool of people together yeah. in terms of behind the scenes and in front of the camera? Yeah. What was it like putting together such talented people? It was impressive, and it was impressive how much people wanted to be a part of the film. So from the people who made the jewelry to the people who were dyeing the clothes. I mean, everybody wanted this to feel authentic, and I think everybody went the extra mile. Our cast did a ton of work with our dialect coach to make it sound real. Like, all those details that you sort of take for granted were things that we took very seriously. We hope that it pays off, but it was something that we really wanted to spend time on getting right. Absolutely. If you were going to say, so we're talking live to the Marvel fans, if you were going to say one last thing to them about this film and what you hope connects with them, what, what would you say to them? I would say I hope that you love the character as much as I do, and I hope the action and the humor all, all translates, but I hope we take something away from it as well. They're going to have an amazing time. This film is spectacular. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks for take taking care, the time. Nate. Thanks. All right. Of course.